Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with the BNZ. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that the Reserve Bank of Australia has put up its official cash rate by 25 basis points to 4%. Now that's well above our official cash rate on 2.5%. And this means that the New Zealand dollar is less attractive than the Australian dollar, and that's why the New Zealand dollar fell quite sharply overnight to 77 Australian cents, more than a cent. It's now at its lowest level since November 2000. And this is great news for our tourism sector. Australian tourist numbers were up 16% in January from a year ago because our currency looks so much better for Australian tourists. Now that means too that it's great news for our exporters of manufactured goods and various other bits and pieces. Meanwhile, overnight, South Canterbury Finance was downgraded by Standard & Poor's from double B plus to double B. This is the bare minimum South Canterbury needs to remain in the government's guarantee scheme, at least after the end of October. It may well be cut again, says Standard & Poor's. That would be a real problem for South Canterbury, which needs to re retain its double B rating to stay in the deposit guarantee scheme. And finally, from Europe. In Greece, they have announced plans to cut their budget deficit by another 2% of GDP. There will be extra taxes on alcohol, tobacco and other sales, and big cuts to bonuses for public workers. That, in theory, may help the Germans agree to some sort of bailout. We'll see. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 98.9, brought to you in association with the BNZ.